Ever wanted to pass like Luka Modric, Wesley Schneider? Today we're going to be working on passing with the outsides of our feet. Thanks to B Person for the suggestion, and you're watching All Attack. Let's jump right into technique, shall we? Last week we talked about using the inside of our foot to make the ball curve. This week, we'll focus on using the outside of our foot, specifically for passing. Start by running the outside edge of your foot along the side of the ball. Practice doing this slowly at first, gently striking the ball to create outside spin. Slowly add more power to lengthen the pass. Depending on the situation, you'll want to vary the amount of height and power on your pass. The more you strike underneath the ball, the higher your pass will be. The more you use the top of your foot to strike the ball, the more powerful your pass will be. This is a general rule for every shot, pass, or cross you'll ever do. Foot underneath the ball equals height. Top of the foot equals power. Once you've mastered the technique, you need to apply it in real game situations. And who better to learn from than Luka Modric? First thing to practice, seeing the space. See this channel here? Modric's teammate is making a run. Playing the ball into this space allows his teammate to get behind the defense. Defenses always leave gaps. Finding these gaps enables you to play dangerous passes that get teammates through on goal. Second, anticipate the curve of your pass. Plan for how much your pass will curve. In this example, Modric aims his pass towards the goal line, knowing it will curve into the run of his teammate. Finally, as a general rule, play with your head up as much as possible. Always be aware of your surroundings. Constantly look around for your team as well as the opposition. This awareness allows you to see spaces, play passes, and evade opponents. <laughs> 